How's it going, everybody? I'm Drifty from Driftwood Gaming. Welcome back to Learning RPG Developer Joaquin. In this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to draw your variables or other text onto the screen in a similar way to what you see here at the top. I'm drawing energy and food and wood and ore and metal and money and time left and all that stuff. We'll just go over one and I'll give you a shortcut on how you can reference variables in the text and how you can draw it to the screen. So let's get started. So first of all, I'm going to make a common event and we'll add a new common event here. Let's take a look at the energy counter that I've made already. In this instance, I've put a condition that a switch be on for it to run, but you don't have to do this. That way it only shows when the switch is on. I've set this to be automatically start, repeat in parallel. That way it updates over time. The first thing I put in here is a variable box assignment and calculation. And what I've done here is just created a new variable. And to do that, it's really simple. You click on the add and it'll show you a new one here. And it says numeric one. You just left click it and then left click it again to rename it. But it doesn't matter. You can call it whatever you want. You can call it banana counter. It really doesn't matter, right? And you hit OK. And that's all you have to do to create a variable. You select it and hit OK and it'll use that one. I'm going to be using var energy for this one. So I created a variable called it var underscore energy. What I'm doing with this one is every second we're adding five to the player's energy. You can start with a number and subtract. You can add one. You can add random, whatever you feel like doing. That could be found under variable boxes, variable box assignment and calculation. The next one we're going to be doing is display string as image on screen. And that can be found under screen effects, display string as image on screen. And when you select this, it's going to ask for an image control number. This is an arbitrary number that you use to identify the picture that we're drawing on the screen, because essentially we're creating text and we're drawing the text as a picture on the screen. And you can do certain things with pictures. So if we want to do certain things with picture number one, we'd reference picture number one, et cetera. So the next box says string to be displayed. And in this, it's verbatim whatever you type with the exception of the forward slash. I'm using the daily build. And for some reason, it's replaced the forward slash with a yen sign. In your project, it may look like the forward slash, you know, the thing that's above or near your enter key and it starts at the top and it slashes down like this in that direction, that's going to signal a code break and it's going to tell this engine to look at the next thing, interpret it differently than verbatim text. So the forward slash is followed by a pound sign. Then you can use these square brackets to reference the exact name of your variable. If you remember, we named our variable var underscore energy. So we're gonna put that exact name inside here. So it's going to display the text energy colon space. It's going to replace all of this with the value that's stored in this variable. You can select what alignment you want. You can specify specifically where you want it to be on the game screen. You get to select whatever color you want it to be and you can magnify it anywhere from invisible all the way up to 10 times its original font size. Under control, we're gonna wait specified time. And this is going to make it so that this parallel doesn't lag the game. It's only going to run this and update once every second. You can reduce it or make it take longer to update. One second seems good for the player to follow. Every second, it's going to add five to the value that's stored in this variable. And then it's going to display that variable on the screen using these settings. And that's pretty much it right there. If you wanted to change the text that's displayed on your game, you have to actually click on file, return to the top menu and go to configuration and select a new font right here. Once you do that, it'll change the font for your project. And you can see the font has already changed, but it also affects the font when you draw text to the screen as an image. And that's pretty much it. That's gonna do it for this tutorial. Hopefully you did like it, you did enjoy it. Please like this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already. Come join us on Discord, that's where we're hanging out. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.